You're listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussie and Eric Raymer, best-selling authors of lists that save my business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Hello, America, and welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Very nice to have you along with us. We're here to remind you that small business is big business, and your business is our business. Do you ever find, Eric, that um, are you one of the people that when you get a plate of uh, you know your meal delivered to you and it's on a plate, whoa, whoa. If do we're you have to eat? Food, I want you to slow down. I nice know. Okay, I'm going to talk slow. Right. Do you eat? Like one thing at a time, like eat your chicken and then your potatoes and then your vegetables, or do you like no. have to have a little something of everything on every no, on but every I'm bite? No, I'm going to out him right now. Robert Grieve, you know the guy who sometimes fills in uh, for for you uh, when, yeah. you, when you're not Does here. Yeah, does he have a funny oh, food boy. fetish? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, just uh, the way they eat. Doesn't let stuff touch. Oh, oh nothing can touch. No. You know, they, you you see them. Everybody's kind of they're funny Mostly about. Mostly, it's cold and hot stuff. Okay, cold stuff can't touch yeah. hot stuff. Salad oh, has to have its own plate. You do not want any gravy touching a lettuce leaf. Oh, my dad is like that. In fact, he his salad has to be in a separate bowl, can't even be on the plate. It has if, to be in a bowl, separate. And, and if you want to talk to Robert about his uh, his kind of weird food stuff... You're going to uh, tell people to call him at Nylands? Absolutely. Nylands Collision Center. Uh, I just you Look him up at nylandscollision.com. You don't have the phone number memorized? No, I don't. Because he's your BFF. You have him on he speed dial. So he used to be. Used to be. Yeah. Now, not now. That <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... so if okay, so there's that. Now, yes, what about... I, don't, I, don't, I mix it all up you and mix I it all. How about um, Oreo cookies? Do you have a funny... You know, Do you have to... Do you twist and do you separate your cookie? Do you dunk? Like I got to be honest with you, this is probably not American. But uh, as soon as I found out what the uh, the the pasty white stuff was, you don't need Oreos. I stopped eating Oreos. Okay, how about M and M's? Love M and M's. You love M and M's. Do you have a funny way of eating M and M's? Do you have, do you have an aversion to well, certain just, colors or no, preference for certain yeah, colors? Let's just say I put the green ones to the side. Do you? Mm-hmm. I don't eat the green ones. I save them. Or the blue ones. Save, I don't actually like it. blue food. For a rainy day. I'm a weird... I, I don't like, don't like blue, blue food. food. No, no. It just seems like it has to have an abundance of artificial food coloring put into it to mm. be blue. So, well, I found a story that talked about um, a gentleman. Whenever I eat a package of plain M&Ms, he says, I make it my duty to continue the strength and robustness of the candy as a species. And so he takes two plain M&Ms and sticks them in his forefinger, between his thumb and his forefinger, and apply pressure. He says, I squeeze them together until one of them cracks and splinters that one is the inferior m&m and gets eaten that, that, and then the the stronger the slave. winner gets to go another round uh, okay he says that in his in his um travels he has found that in general the brown and the red m&ms are tougher because they're you know more oh, more man. more typical the, the, colors the brown and the red are tougher they've been around longer but the newer bluer ones yeah. are genetically inferior see i knew it i knew this i he says i've hypothesized that the blue m&ms as a race cannot survive long in the intense theater of competition What's this guy's name Actually, I don't know. I have to look it up. Wackadoo. No, no, no. Oh. He says occasionally I get a mutation of an M and M that's you know misshaped or a little pointier or flatter yeah, than yeah, the rest. Yeah, I've seen those. Invariably, this proves to be a weakness. A weakness. A weakness. Except for on the very rare occasion, it gives the candy extra strength. Oh, in other words, it's this way until I decide it's that way. And the species continues to adapt to its environment. I want to know how many of the ones in his thumb crack before the ones in his, in his, in his index finger. Oh, do you think that it matters which ones on the thumb side, which? Uh, on the forefinger side. As long as we're having this conversation, I really do. He says, when I reach the end of the pack, I'm left with one M&M, the strongest of the herd. And since it would make no sense at all to eat this one strong M&M, he packs it neatly in an envelope and sends it to the M&M's division of Mars. And Are you kidding me? With a, with a note inside saying, please use this M&M for breeding purposes. <sighs> This week, this they wrote a, back to thank him. Shut up. And they sent him a coupon for a free half-pound bag of plain M&Ms. He says, I consider this grant money. I've set aside the weekend for a grand M&M tournament. From a field of hundreds, we will discover the true champion. And there can be only one. You will never eat plain M&Ms. The same again. You'll crack them. At least a couple of them. You're going to try and smush them. And then you might have to flip-flop to see, does thumb side or forefinger side have an advantage to the f- playing field? Wow. No, it was actually anonymous. Look, the thing is anonymous. Of course it's anonymous. Who wants to put their name on crazy? That was funny, though. 
I mean, we all kind of have, you know, when we get a candy bar or a Reese's peanut butter cup, we all have our funny way of of eating things. And it's very that's, personal. That's true. And it's very... I eat vanilla ice cream funny. You do? What do you yeah, do with vanilla you, ice cream? Well, if you stir it to the right, it tastes like peanut butter. If you stir it to the left, it tastes like maple syrup. Try it. I promise. Don't go anywhere. We've just spent five minutes of your life, and we'll make it up to you on the other side of these commercials. You're listening to Angel Narek on the Experience Pros Radio Network. The Experience Pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com. You make all kinds of plans for your business, but have you planned for the event that you may need long-term care? Did you know that you can have long-term care insurance that offers you tax advantages and a guaranteed rate of return? Walt Wilson is a licensed agent working in the financial services segment of the insurance industry, and he's a pro when it comes to long-term care. It only takes a moment.